the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. To whom all blessings flow, I'd like to thank God for this day. It is with humility that I stand before this family, grateful that God had allowed me an opportunity to be a partake of this divine nature. I love y'all. Stocks, mouths, ruffins, all who are assembled in this place today to show support and love for Courtney, Monique, Stark, Tim. I've learned today that we all can fellowship together near and far and love one another like Christ loved the church because that's what Coco did and it shows. I just want to thank and praise God. Even if you all may not understand why you stay in a state. Because he, it takes a soldier to stand through the test of time. Through the trials, through the tribulations, through the storms of life, through life, through death, through birth. Hallelujah. It takes a soldier like Coco did. And a lot of the stock members who have already gone on to be with the Lord, they are rejoicing today. Because Coco made it through. See, God is
We still serve a good God. Each transition is different. And we've all been through another transition before Coco. And God brought us through. So now what we have to do is trust him on today. And know that if he did it before, So 
so that we will never die. For our perishable earthly bodies must be transformed into heavenly bodies that will never die. When this happens, when our perishable earthly bodies have been transformed into heavenly bodies that will never die, then at last the scriptures will come true. Death is swallowed up in victory. Children. So God, we ask that you give 
now, this family, your kindness and your peace. We pray, God, that you would give them compassion and strength to get through the lonely days ahead. To God, we know you today as a God of unfailing love. So God, wow, we come today, we are thankful that you have allowed Courtney to spend 40 years with us. And God, we ask today that you would help them deal with their loss. God, their pain seems to be so deep. Oh God, that it seems that it cannot be comforted. It appears that the heart cannot be healed. But then, God, there is a word that says, all things are possible to you. So, God, we put our faith, we put our hope, God, in your ability, oh, God, to bring healing, to bring peace, to bring comfort, to restore joy, oh, God, to give them compassion, to comfort them in their lonely hours. So God, I ask today, and God, I'm trusting you to comfort your karma. God bless your mother. God, we are praying that you would trust them. If God lift up Wayne Head and Tanya and Teloria, these uncles, these aunts, other family members and friends, we pray, God, that you would break through the darkness of their soul and bring life and war and peace and consolation in this lonely hour that they don't God will know that we must pass this way but until then we're going to put our hand in your hand for we know that everything everything will work out alright it is in the marvelous the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus we ask it all God, we claim it already done. Come on, let's say to God. Amen. 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 I 
Amen. 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 You don't have a hot girl to come. Amen. 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 See, one thing about the girls in our family, they, they can clean up when they get ready. Amen. Amen. They can hang with the fellas and they can get just as dirty and rough as the fellas. But when they was when it's time to get the person in key, Amen. She did just that. And Coco, let me tell you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Amen. Then we're going to have the family treatment by her sister. Amen. Whatever. Amen. Thank the people of God. Say amen. amen. Say amen again. Come on, let's give God some praise for the life of the church. Say God for the We greet you today in the only name that matters, and that is the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are certainly present with us. We are fishing the minister today, Pastor Alexander Williams. In the absence of, perhaps of this great church, Reverend Dr. Robert Diggs, Dr. Williams, Reverend Harris, for our minister of music today, Reverend Wilson. To each and every one of you of this most precious family, we thank God for you and to those that are watching virtually. We thank God for you as well. The family have you to thank each and every one of you for your presence here today. All many acts of kindness extended to them during the passing of their loved one. The family has chosen some cards and letters to be shared with you, and later they can families more control holes and confines of their home. We will read each large card and letter that has been sent and respond in that manner. The only reason we feel such a profound loss is because we had such a profound blessing. How sad we are now, and how lucky we are, and how fortunate we are still to have all the stories and experiences and memories we share. Let us find peace and the past to carry our hearts forward with deepest sympathy and the love we will A journey to remember. When some people journey through life, they leave footprints wherever they go. Footprints of kindness and love, courage and compassion, humor and inspiration, joy and faith. Even when they're gone, we can still look back and clearly see the trail they left behind. The trail bright with hope which invites us to follow. Psalm 89 and 15 is which an the version of says, Blessed are those who walk in the light of your presence. Praying you'll be comforted with precious memories of God's presence to take, take care of you and your laws with sympathy, dookie, and horse kindness. To dookie. Words of comfort we express love for us. Time is God's gift. We all need a time to grieve, a quiet time for reflection, to sit through memories, and a comfort grip for what has happened. We all need a time for tears, not for the one who is now at peace with God in heaven, but for ourselves as we realize that things will never be the same. We all need a time to just be where we can feel the comfort and reassurance that God's everlasting love brings to heal our hearts. Praying God's peace and comfort for you and your laws. Love cousins Ken, Terrell, and Shane. With sympathy to you and your family. There's an unbroken thread that is woven from love that keeps family always together. And nothing as real as the moments we share and live on in our memories forever. As difficult as this time is, may you find comfort in knowing that your loved one will always be with you and the memories you share will ever be a part of your life. Praying for you and the entire family is Angela White. Right. Royal Baptist Church, Kingsburg, Virginia. Dear Ms. Wynette Stark and family. Dear Dean and Stark, Tanya, Tabori, and family members. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall be any more pain for the former things that passed away. Revelations 21 and 20. Pastor Williams and Lady Carol Williams, officers of the entire Royal Baptist Church family, joined expressing and declaring our profound condolences during the transition of your loved one, Sister Courtney Stark Taylor. She united with the Royal Baptist Church on October 18, 2009, where she was also baptized. One of the most difficult times in a person's life is to lose a loved one. And though today you walk in the sorrow, Remember, you're not alone. There is one whose love and wisdom is far greater than your own. Today, put your trusting hands in God's hands, and he will guide you through. As you reflect upon the special moments that you share with Courtney, 
we encourage you to embrace these words from Isaiah 41 and 10 in your hearts and minds. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will help thee. I will hold thee with the right hand of righteousness. Hold firm to your faith, and may the promises of God's word be your peace today, your hope tomorrow, and your comfort in days Because of him, we are servants of the Master, the Royal Baptist Church family, Reverend Dr. Philip Williams, Pastor. Good Shepherd Baptist Church, Petersburg, Virginia. To the family of Courtney M. Scarlett now is your time of grief, and I will see you again when you rejoice, and no one will take away your joy. John 16 and 22. Grace and mercy be unto you, for God the Father and His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. The pastor and members of the Good Shepherd Baptist Church, bow in humble submission to the sovereign will of the Almighty God, and calling Courtney home to receive her reward. We recognize that a voice among us has been silenced. However, we find comfort in knowing that death is just the beginning of life. To the family, please know that the Good Shepherd stands with you, ready to assist you in any way possible to help you through this difficult time. Others care for you in this time of suffering, and their prayers are for you. For God to ease your sorrow and bring comfort in the days ahead. It is comforting to know that God will give you strength for the need you face today. And may these words have served as a source of comfort to you. I've learned that as I release my hold, something will always remain. That as I bid farewell, someone will always abide. I've learned that love does not end, not even with death. It continues to express itself in ways that we know. I've learned that when I'm almost alone, the Spirit of God accompanies me. When I'm most afraid, the promise of God comforts me. When I'm most fragile, the hand of God upholds me. I have begun to see that however much I did not wish for this loss, my time of losing can also be a time of gain. If I can come to understand and appreciate life as I never have before, I can experience and cherish growth as I could not otherwise do. I can share what I have in ways that might not otherwise be possible. I'm learning to see the ways in which I have been pleased by God, who has walked me through the grief of winter and who accompanies me into the grace of summer's new life. Sincerely yours with love, Bishop Jeffrey L. Reeves, Senior, Senior Pastor. And into this family on behalf of us, the Kai staff, the Jay Wilson Children's Staff, we want you to know that we're praying for you. We here at Wilkinson believe in prayer and the power of prayer. We know that prayer can and will change things. So, family, we're going to do a simple prayer for you that God will grant you the serenity to accept the things in which you cannot change, courage to change the things that you can, but most of all, wisdom to know the difference. Look to the hills from the come of your help and realize all of your help comes from the Lord. May God bless you. Just before the others come, we have a special tribute coming from Miss Sharon Johnson. Give her some love as she comes. Thank you. 
is what made her happy. She wanted a business doing this. And she explained it to me so well. But God had other plans. Please keep those memories and acts of kindness that we all experience and witness of her doing in our heart. God created special people, such as her specific, for that. Coco is now in a beautiful place with her parents, loved ones, and best friends. Know that her work here on earth is complete and that God was pleased. We love her. myself in your shoes and say, what would Coco do during this time? She said, I had one head of water, but she was strong. She was the strongest of us all. When it came to death or anything, anybody problems, Coco has. I've witnessed her go through so much over the years, even through the pain and the struggles. She was still there. Other people problems. I'm trying my best to keep Yeah, 
I love y'all. I love y'all family. Um, we all know Coco called me sister too, and I feel like today she would have told me, we gotta give you nine days to cry. Today I need you to be strong. And so I would like to give a message to the girls. Um, and I just feel like this is something that Coco would have told us. Um, and I tried to do a poem. Y'all know she is the. I can't do a poem for like Coco, okay? I'm gonna just do a little something for y'all and I'm gonna get the Because y'all know this takes a lot for me to do this. Um, um, listen up, girls, and pay attention. I showed y'all the steps to accomplish each and every mission. From acing report cards, to reading advanced books, to knowing how to get your way with that certain book. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you how to venture events and get through the town, how to enjoy each other, how to laugh away the frown, how to love your family, your children, unconditionally and recognize those not tied by blood but by loyalty there is just one lesson i couldn't give until this very moment remember the good times laugh out loud and don't get on the dance floor unless you own it. <laughs> and girls, let there be no breaks in our circle, just tighter bonds, because memories last forever. And my love goes on. Yeah, I'm going to get out of 
and to everyone that are assembled here on today. On behalf of Coco's boys, her husband, her sisters, and the entire family, we would just want to say thank you to each of you for having shown us the love and the support that you have shown us in the last couple of days. Thank you from the depths of our hearts, and we greatly appreciate all that you have done. And to all persons that have been on the program, we say thank you as well. To Wilkerson, Pastor Diggs, the Tabernacle family, and everyone, we just say thank you. And as I look across this room, I just feel like my sister's eulogy has already been done. Simply by the presence of everyone here on today. Coco was loved. She showed love. She tried, every, every time she met someone, she tried so hard to make a person smile and laugh. I, I know in our family, we have a couple of uh, little things that we used to do in our family or say when it was time for a funeral. Nobody wanted to walk in the aisle with Coco, but she was going to fall in a lot of She was going to be screaming and hollering, and you know, she was just going to be acting up. Boom. And nobody wanted to walk in the aisle, so we were always hollering, where's our animal? Where's our member? Let her go with them. Let her go with them. So we always push her off on our animal or our member. Because they were the only ones that could handle Coco. And then the other thing was, yeah, everybody knew Coco's mom. Nobody wanted to sit next to her in the funeral because she was going to get in trouble. But she was going to hang me like, did you see? Oh, she was going to hang me falling out of the Nobody wanted to be beside her because we already knew time it was going to be, but that was my sister, and to know her, you know her. She was just full of life, full of fun, and she just loved people. She loved helping people. She loved to encourage people, and she loved to uplift people, even when she needed, needed uplifting and encouragement herself. 
she tried to love and uplift and encourage others. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that have shown up today. And I say her transition was extremely shocking, as you can see, to all of us, not just to her family, but to her friends and everyone. It was very shocking. It was painful. But I believe Coco's transition is teaching us something. It's teaching us that we need to love each other. We need to be there for each other. In spite of our differences, in spite of what we have, what we did, what we write, we need to treat everybody right. Because we don't know the day nor the hour. And her life just showed us that. So family, we have to love each other more. We have to stick closer. And not just this family, but everybody, because I consider everyone my family. So we have to do better in how we treat and love each other. And I think her life won't be in vain. Her, her dying won't be in vain if we was to do that. And I thank her boys. We got you. We got a village out here that got you. And we got you. We got a village that got you. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. And to Donald, we know that you loved her. We know that she loved you. But remember, God loved her best. And I will tell you what a simple form. She is gone. You can shed tears that she's gone or you can smile because she has lived. You can close your eye and pray that she'll come back, or you can open your eyes and see all she's left. Your heart can be empty because you can't see her, or you can be full of love you share. You can turn your back on tomorrow and live like yesterday, or you can be happy for tomorrow because of yesterday. Rest in paradise, sister, we love you. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give it up one more time. Amen. 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 Now we're going to have another solo on this little part. Songwriter said,
go, why it bothers you so much? How somebody shoot you can live that life? Why are you so no concerned? Why are you so bothered? Man, if you just let me know that you're jealous of me, you're envious of me, no go big class. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so go. See, Popo lived her best life unconcerned. Even in her best leg crawl and unconcerned because she knew that opinions and, 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 and your thoughts did not pay her bills. Hello. Don't make it Popo don't want nobody's opinion. They want their money. See, 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 folk don't like you on lies and rumors. But God loves you on evidence. God knows you're going to have to be what you mean, preacher. God knows you're still a liar. God knows you're a fornicator. God knows you ain't no good. God knows that you so come every now and then. But God still loves you. When everybody else talking about you, when everybody else going, I'm going to love to get you. Don't go use the patience. She's going to make her haters burn out of Vegas. So every time they get her wrong, she strip it off. And y'all hot girls like y'all say y'all hot girls. Scoco said forgive who you need to forgive. And you can be talking about forgive who you can need to forgive. Some of y'all holding grudges from back in 1973. But somebody ain't speaking to me. Baby, you better forgive. Because if you don't forgive, you can down my head wide open. Folks said all kinds of stuff about Coco. But Coco, what Coco did? She still turned around. Coco said, you need to go ahead and hug who you need to hug. I know they don't want to touch your hands for long, but sometimes, some folks don't need your advice. Sometimes all they need is a hug. Coco yeah. yeah. said, go ahead and love who you need to love. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say it like my club, but say, club, you got to love the hell out of folks. Yeah. Yeah. Some folks make it hard to love, but Coco love the hell out of you. She loved you whether you like her or not. Because she knew the only way that she was going to get to see Jesus is she had to love like Christ love. Now this right here, this right here was one of my good favorites. She said what she meant and meant what she said. And you need to go ahead and say what you got to say. Stop being talking behind folk back. You bad enough to say it. Go ahead and say it. Don't, don't, don't get on Facebook and make no poster. Don't you send no group text message. Don't say no right me and say it. Baby, man, I'm mad. Man, man, man. What up and say what you got to say. Say what you got to say. Go on, say what she had to say. And you can take it however you took it. Because Coco philosophy was, you may not like me, but you will respect me. And then she said, girls, tell them, tell them, tell them. They want to get up here and party with me again. Tell them they got to stop walking around being so petty. They got to stop right here. I get so sick and tired of grown petty folks. Grown act your age and not your shoe facts. Stop being so petty. Stop being so bougie. Come on, come on. I know you got blessed and you got more degrees behind in front of your name than the alphabet, but maybe you ain't no better than me. You ain't no better than me. But when I talk about Coco, Coco, she can sit with the best of them and she can roll with the worst of them. Coco, you have to turn it off. She said, I can pick my kidneys up. She said, I can roll my hours. But Coco said, So trifling. 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 Stop being so mean. Rude. Disrespectful. Oh, Coco. If you want to live, if you want to see Coco again, remember that life is short. Get to know who Jesus is. And I ain't talking about getting religion. Now hold on for me if he got religion and ain't got no religion. Hold on 
will kill your eternal bones in the digging devil that have a walk the earth. You can talk to all day long, but if your heart ain't right, it's not in that cocoa and white wine. It's a cocoa. The cocoa had a pure heart. Cocoa had a pure heart. I believe she 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 loved the scripture to create in me a clean heart. Cocoa like to clean. She like to clean. Coco said, clean around your own front door before you try to sleep around mine. And you ever have a party, we had baby shower, wedding reception, and you won't get the cleaning done. You think Coco the cute? Coco. And if you in the way she will fold you up, then fold you in the trap. Get out of the way. <laughs> so I urge all of you today. I'm finished. I'm finished. I urge all of you today. Coco may not. May not have a million dollars. May not live in the finest house, wore the finest clothes, drove the latest car. But what she did for you, she did it out of love. And not only did she do it all alone, she did it. And the whole neighborhood didn't even know that she did it. Because some of y'all do stuff and gotta tell everybody that you did it. Child and her child and boy and grandpa and No, go go and she did it. You ain't heard it no more. Go go and get the shirt off of her back. But if it's ain't token, don't you mess with it. Now, I got to say something. And I'll say, man, I don't know what it is. The girls took everything from the boys. They love fighting. <laughs> they go looking for a fight, y'all. If you had Coco in your spark circle, I don't care what went down. Coco had your back. And I ain't talking about way back. Whatever Coco had to do, she did it. That was a true friend. She was a true definition of a real friend. We use that word too loose. That's my friend. Right. No, if you were my friend, you would have talked about me when I was a girl. If you were my friend, you would have helped me. If you were my friend, you would have stole from me. If you were my friend. Go go. Sleep on. And I can see her now. At that gate. With that ponytail. And she just, just sprung on in. And Coco got this shake on. That's my good man. See, she had them big legs. And she put them heels on. I looked at a, a post on Facebook. They were out of town. Everybody else walking. Coco on a bike. So I said, y'all, what y'all want to do. But y'all, she had some boys. Y'all keep them in your prayers. Yeah. You see them doing something you don't agree with? Don't talk about them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. So it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Come on, more tissues. So, more tissues, when they come. This song right here. Come on. You thought I was worth saving. So you.